Evanston, Texas. 911 calls are pouring in about this pickup gone wild. He's already mowed over two mailboxes and forced several vehicles off the street. And when Deputy Patrick Merrick races ahead to strategically block the menace, he veers into opposing lanes, speeding beside the patrol car and sending approaching drivers into panic mode. Merrick tries to cut him off again. And this time, the perp gets punchy, cramming the cruiser from behind. A responding officer rushes to the scene from the opposite direction and finds himself in the line of fire. Converging units can tell if this guy won't stop for anything less than a roadblock. And even that might not be enough. The suspect doesn't flinch as he glances off one squad car and slams head-on into Sergeant Phil Waller at 50 miles per hour. Behind Waller, another patrolman sees the devastating impact as it leaves the two vehicles locked in an ugly, twisted mess. Police charge the door of the pickup and pull the outlaw from the wreckage. dragged into the clear, while on the other side, fellow officers work like mad to free Waller from his crumpled car. He's unconscious, and his leg is broken in three places. He will recover, but the runner does not survive the crushing impact. His erratic behavior was due to a blend of prescription pills. But when the drugs combined with a high-speed joyride, it was a prescription for disaster.